Hey, I'm Sam with AEM EV. Hey, I'm Tim Hicks with Industry Garage. This is my 1977 280Z. It's a full electric conversion using all AEM EV products. This build started as kind of like a, a general idea, and then I brought it to the guys at Make Haze Corp. Ash Thorpe and Carlos, uh, Color Sponge. We had the idea of just building an electric Z. I had a Tesla motor sitting around, so I went out and found this car. It was a $500 rusty shell six months ago. They did all the design work, and we just really wanted to make sure that it was very apparent from the design that it is an EV, but it's not the whole aspect of the car. Um, but so as soon as you walk up onto it, you see that the this front end, there's no way that an engine could fit under the scoop of the hood. So you walk up and you see, oh, okay, clearly it's an EV. This is made as like a daily driver, kind of like cars and coffee type car. It's not gonna have a ton of range, but it'll have a good bit of juice. It should be around, what, 400 horsepower? 400, 400 kilowatts. If you're using a sport or, or a base drive it's unit. It's a base drive unit. Base drive unit, yeah, you're looking about 400 horsepower for the base drive unit. Um, right there, right there, you can see the AEM CCU. What that does, and you can see the charge port there that he added there. So what that does, is allows you to charge the vehicle when you're, you know, done and you need to put some charge back in your battery. That takes your, high, that takes your 110 power, your AC power off your wall, 110 or 220. Takes it in, steps it up to 400 volts, keeps your 400 volt high voltage battery charged to power this vehicle. Secondly, EVs typically don't have anything that's spinning to spin an alternator to generate voltage for your 12 volt battery, because you still have to have a 12 volt battery in this car to operate your headlights, your radio, all the electronics in here still run on 12 or 14 volts. What the CCU does, it takes the high voltage power from your high voltage battery and steps it down to your 14 volts and charges your 12 volt battery. Under here, I'm assuming it's a battery pack, right? Yes. One of the battery modules. Yeah, so this is using uh, two full Chevy Volt battery modules, which is like six batteries in total. So it's a 33 kilowatt hour pack and it's about, yeah, 400 volts just shy of that, yeah. Got a lot of the modern amenities you would need for a nice, comfortable car. Um, it looks a little wild, but it does have electronic power steering from a Chevy Equinox, has wipers, it has, uh, it will have electric doors, it will have AC. A lot of these panels were 3D printed in sections, glued together, body fillered, and added to like the metal flanges of the OEM fenders. I mean, to take molds of those pieces and then create all the carbon fiber parts from those molds. So we use all US-based composites from fiberglass and lay them up here in the US as well. So everything's US based, even the Tesla motor, I guess, AEM. So it's a big conglomerate of US stuff on a nice JDM car. But yeah, so the entire car is carbon fiber. The floor pan is like a big uh, half inch uh, sheet of the Vinicel foam with six layers of carbon on the top and the bottom uh, connected to both frame rails. So the uh, 800 pounds worth of batteries can sit on that and stay put. So this is my very first EV build. Um, so I used AEM's CD7 dash. This has uh, GPS and everything like logging built into it and their uh, keypad as well. So this has predetermined spots. So it's got park reverse, neutral drive, your uh, ignition and all that stuff, as well as like traction control and like two different drive modes all built into it. Um, and the nice thing about this is like with being in, like with this being my very first EV build, I'm not that accustomed to all of the aspects of it. Um, but AEM EV has their own prototype two-part universal harness. It's very long, so you can kind of expand it to wherever you need it to go, but it has all of the predetermined clips and everything already wired. So like your CCU, your master for your BMS, the dash, the keypad, everything is already pre-wired. And it even has the, um, the wiring section that runs to the Tesla drive motor itself. So you don't have to do any wiring yourself, except for like these couple flying leads attached to your pedal, your brakes, power in and out and a wake switch and you should be good to go. This car yeah. is running basically the whole AEM suite. Our Tesla large drive unit control boards, our VCU 300, which supports up to four motors. Our battery management system that makes sure that that battery is always staying in operating condition. That's the thing that you want to protect at all costs. That's the most, that's the most expensive part of your build. And that BMS makes sure that it transfers all the information to the VCU so it can make correct decisions at all times to keep that battery going forever. And if a battery well taken care of, it'll last like 300,000 miles, potentially. But yeah, it's a very simple system to set up for a first timer, a little bit daunting, but you can work your way through it. And we're, we're working on making the process a little bit easier. And hopefully, hopefully we'll see more of these crazy things come out. Yeah, and working with Sam and everybody there have been very helpful. I have a bunch of questions. 
they're right back with me answering them, so it's been awesome. If you guys want to learn more about AEM and AMEV, check out what we have on our website. Thanks, guys. See ya.